think every restaurant I've worked at, we've had like the local watering hole. So Patty's is for craft. That's where everyone goes. So uh, Greg and I have had ongoing bets for the past year or two, and I've, I've won every single bet that we've done. At a certain point in the evening, he, he thinks he's an amazing pool player. And at a certain point, I just destroy him. <laughs> Green corn. Gregory. Always a pleasure. Mm. My name is James Tracy. I'm the executive chef of Kraft Restaurant. So Kraft was started by Tom Plicchio in 2001. The food is this contemporary American, family style, very seasonal. The menu set up so, one, if you're very picky, it's great because you can uh, come in and order exactly what you want. A lot of people are picky about, oh, I don't want the sauce, I don't want the side, I don't want this vegetable or this garnish or whatever. It's fine, because you're gonna come in and you can order the sirloin, and then the side of the woods and the side of potato puree. In the way a steakhouse, you know, is a steak with like the potato gratin on the side, Kraft is, but also with like duck, guinea hens, you know, game birds, lots of fish. This is his meat drawer for tonight. It's a suckling pig. This is the chicken. It's got herb butter underneath the skin. These are rabbits, saddles, deboned. This is, the, this is called the meat walk-in. Uh -huh. Beautiful uh, sucklings. So uh, Adriano's been with us for 12 years. This is the best butcher in the city. We got three suckling pigs back here. kitchens before where you know, everyone dreads to come in. You know. I want everyone to be nervous about you know, making sure they do a good job, but also be happy to come to work. Chris Levy over here, Chef Cuisine, uh, Mac, A.M. Sue, and then there's Melanie over there. I've worked with a lot of those guys for at least a couple years. Well, yes, Chef. <laughs> Saying Mac is a perpetual white liar. I convinced everybody here that I was a male cheerleader. A Mac. So as an intern, you know, a lot of times you get like a 85 fails and like 15% uh, are winners. You know, he's one of those. And same with Melanie. She went to college and started cooking, you know, came as an intern. They were pushy, they were motivated, and both of them were very natural cooks. So we were lucky, you know. Mac actually just became sous chef two months ago. Two months ago, so. yeah. I'm the luckiest thing that ever happened. Yeah, uh, <laughs> kind of something like that. Um, <laughs> like a, I need to say, like, well, both these guys have worked out. That's why, that's where we're hanging out. <laughs> no, don't, don't hug me, don't hug, don't hug, no. <laughs> First destination was Ibuku Elementary. They were rocking last night. We had to wait a little bit for the table. We met up with Ed Crochet. He was a sous chef here at Kraft for a while. And now he's at Clicking Sons as the executive, executive sous chef. Great, great guy. He cleaned up pretty well yesterday for you guys, so. <laughs> Ed, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. You guys a little busy, huh? <laughs> Justin, just a really nice guy, and every time I get to go there, it's always better and better and better. They do a great job. It's a very casual communal tables, which I'm not a big fan of communal tables usually because it's like I don't want to have dinner with people I don't know, you know, I don't really like that. Yeah. But uh, there it's fine. I'm starving like Marvin. Can we order? I'm not for the waiter, okay, guys? We haven't ordered yet. Sure. Bread's good. Why do you got mouse? Yeah, can Matt get the crispy polenta? Uh, are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good soaker. We gotta load up on the cards. Look at the uh, salt cod, the uh, octopus, 
the razor clams, the short ribs, like two pastas. Oh yeah, so much charcuterie, yes. At, at Obuko, I really like charcuterie. It's always very clean, great flavors, and you know, a lot of times people do charcuterie in-house, and you know, it's like, oh, maybe we should just bought it from Italy, you know, like, you know, you know what I mean? But their stuff is really great. This shirt had two buttons popped off in the middle. I got a twist today just for tonight. And then when I put it on, it's just like that. That's why you have a sweater on, right? Let's turn this judging table to you. I love the razor clam myself, you know, like razor clams I dig in the summer. I go to Cape Cod and the crudo like we had last night, like that's the best way to eat it, I think, you know, raw. It's all cod with a little bit of chilies and a little bit of acid and a little crunch from the cracker and everything. It's great. Well, the one dish like I never order is short ribs because you know we cook it, you know, 500 a week. I'm just sick of looking at the braised short ribs. But they roast it on the bone and hit it with a lot of peppers and you know acid on top, celery and stuff like that. The texture is more like a roasted meat instead of like a braised. I actually I enjoy it. You know, and, uh, like I said, the pasta is always good. It's good, right? Oh yeah. We don't usually go out to dinner but it's nice. So next stop after Mabuko was Motor City. We went there because one is closing and it's been around for a long time. You know, living in New York for a while, you see like all these little bars that are closed for the year. The rents go up and one of the Give a little shout out to, before they close. 17, 18 years, you know, like uh, we start all this bullshit on, 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 on uh, in this area, you know. Look what happened. <laughs> Times change, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They probably want to sell the building, you know. Uh -huh. Me and my wife always like here you know, grew up, you know, in this area. Yeah. I live just right up, you know, up the block. Hopefully, we can extend as long as possible, man. And then, you know, if we know. Uh, the day then we're gonna close, man. We're gonna fucking throw fucking fuck you party over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to the Patty's. Uh, James is trying to be third between 19th yeah. and 20th. Talk about where we're going. This is the last minute he's going to do that. Third between 19th and 20th. That was my turn. It's not a cab driver. He knows where we're going. But uh, <laughs> make sure you take Broadway. <laughs> All the restaurants showed up, you know, Kraft, uh, Click and Sons, and uh, Kraft Bar, plus Justin from the Boca. Where'd you guys have a couple shots and some beers there? Yeah, beer and a shot. Yeah, we had a lot of our crew. Get in the car. Let's go. I'm right here. I'm going to get an airplane 41 times. Come on, you're a pedophile. So what? Get in the van, the van. It's, I got candy in the van. I got candy in the van. Candy? Hey, we're going back to Kraft to make a little uh, trotter egg McMuffin. Pickles. Let's see. Hopefully they got some uh, potato chips over there. Oh, fuck, we're at the work <laughs> now? Oh, Jesus. Hey, yeah. uh, come on. What do you do when you get put to work? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question, bro. Oh, man, who picked up the funny homeless guy? Mario Vitelli fucking cookie demo. Wait, what is this? Cook a cookie? Shh. Oh, this is a fire. 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 So we're coming back to Kraft. Just wanted to come in and sort of make some sandwiches. All right, so we got a trotter right here. The pork trotter, you know, it's braised in veal and roasted mirepoix. Touch my fucking trotters, you're dead. We cook the egg in a steel so it's round, same size as the trotter. Beautiful, Ed. Break that yolk, Ed. Break that yolk. <laughs> Cut it the fuck off. The white's just barely cooked, and then the yolk just runs over and it just gets, you know, gets all gooey. That's who finally gave us a great 
Yeah. Yep, that's it. Awesome meal. Thank you. Can we get a plate for Justin Smiley? Yeah. Justin. Thanks, man. Yeah, at some point, I'm just like, all I want to do is just flip a couple of trotters and just put them on sandwiches, and I didn't even want to eat one at that point. Let's get some eggs. No. <laughs> Who's on the eggs? That's it's about all the people over there in that night. These are all the people that make the restaurants great. It's pretty easy to hang out with them. Yeah. <laughs> Go do the muffins. Yes, chef. Lay the muffins on the tray. Grab, grab a plate underneath. Okay. Hey, what's the board? Please pass them around to all your friends.